Two chain collapses. Don't work, don't work. I'm gonna wait for you. Let's see, Nicholas. We're ready to start. Are you ready now? Check out the rest of the class. Where are they? Good evening, teacher. Yeah, hello, how are you? Fine, and you, teacher? How are you? Today? I'm just fine, uh, just fine, you know. Here, ready to start. Happy to see you here in class. Thank you, teacher. How are you? How's everything? I'm sorry, could you repeat, please? How are you? How's everything? Everything's fine? Ah, wow. Today was a happy day, yeah, because I, I don't remember if I told you that uh, due to the bad relationship be, relation between the United States and El Salvador, our donor uh, consult the donation to El Salvador for the Nonprofit organization for the nonprofit organization where I when I when I where I work, and we have to change uh, the objectives, and we have to despedir teacher. Fire. Fight. Fire. We have to fire some co-workers 
But today I receive a excellent news because I don't have to find anyone to my from my from my group. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I have to give them the news tomorrow in the uh, in a meeting, but I I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm really happy, and it's all for other people because. Uh, we have to fire almost five people uh, that they are in other departments. Oh, really? Yeah, it's so difficult. It's very difficult, teacher. Very hard, this process. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. But at least you're your people are going to be okay. Yeah, my people, yeah, my team, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm happy for them. That's nice. So glad to hear that. Thank you, teacher. And well, welcome to the class. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Chanira, hello, how are you? Ana Claudia, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm just fine, you know, just fine. Okay. Today is hot. I feel it's hot uh, here in Santa Ana. I don't know my other uh, classmate what they think, but here at home, I feel the weather change. <laughs> And it was so strange because it was a windy afternoon and then suddenly the weather switched to a hot night. But I don't know, it's a crazy weather. Yeah, oh, I know, it's been quite crazy. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Exactly. I know what you mean. <laughs> right, where I, right where I live, I got the... the the same situation i mean in the morning was hot a little bit well when i work in the afternoon it just started blowing a lot of wind ah. but now that i came home uh hot again so my god yes it's crazy that is why we got some allergies because of these changes and windy days the dust all those things mm -hmm. Yeah, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's just terrible. But let's hope, let's hope tomorrow we can get a better weather. Hopefully. Yeah. Because otherwise we're going to suffer. <laughs> just let me take note of a little something here. I'm sorry. Okay. No, I better do this. Okay. Just a second, just a second. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So, what's new? Uh, well, the for me, the good news is uh, that I today I achieved my goal. This month was kind of slowly, but slow. at least I yes, slowly. Um, slow. Slow. Ah, okay. Uh, it, so, um, 
until yesterday I achieved my 100%, but today I achieved the 125%. I'm still uh, doing my best because the bonus, the best bonus is even when you reach the 150%. So I hope until Monday that I can close some good deals. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, let's hope everything turns out okay mm -hmm. for you. Exactly. I hope the same. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, uh, sometimes it's it's hard to get everything as we want it, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I'm doing my best and I'm doing uh, all what is uh, possible to work on my end. So I'm just... Uh, hoping and waiting that everything works together fine with me. Yeah, you know, you gotta be patient, you gotta do your mm -hmm. best effort. And I mean, actually that's the most we can do. I mean, try to give the best of ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. Because otherwise, I mean, if situations get, uh, I mean, we get the stress and we get worried mm -hmm. and that's not the way things are going to be solved. Exactly. No, and I'm just uh, trying to reach the 150% this month because uh, with the recent construction we made in our house, uh, all my my saving mostly they went into this so I need to uh, fill again my saving accounts starting from zero almost but it's good because I feel well, what's that word again hmm? what's that word again please uh, what I, wow. my saving account <laughs> yeah yeah, but that, that term is, I mean, I don't know it. Oh, come on, teacher. You earn millions of dollars every month. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I think that you have a bigger, bigger <laughs> saving account. <laughs> no. Well, I got an account, but uh, with no how empty is it? Yeah, no saving. No, I think I no. got a couple of dollars. Like $2. you know, I try to save at least uh, twenty five dollars every month. Twenty five dollars, twenty five dollars. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yes, helps a lot. Yeah, of course it does. Mm -hmm. so, it's an excellent attitude. Yes, I must do it because in this situation, we could pay a. Uh, the roof chain, changing, seria, changing. Okay. Yeah. And you know, when you are doing all this type of constructions, there are some uh, I, surprises, some things that they are not planned. And yeah. we could afford them. And I feel happy for that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm starting from zero <laughs> again, saving again, saving again. But we are in a good pace. See, yeah, what you mean is this word. Let me get it for mm -hmm. you. When you're building, when you are into a project like that, you get some unforeseen expenses. Wow. New word for me. Unforeseen. Yes, unforeseen. 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 Yeah. Unforeseen. Okay, unforeseen. Yeah, it's, a nice, it's a nice word, right? Yes. First time I see it. Thank you. Yeah, actually, it's, you know, uh, some people say unexpected. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's, unexpected that's, situations. Yeah, unexpected expenses. That's acceptable, but the, the the specific when you want to say imprevisto is unforeseen. Uh -huh. 
Okay. You That's work. the specific term. Enforcing. Okay. Nice word, right? Yes, nice word. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Ana Claudia. No, thanks, thanks to you. To you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Mr. Osorio, hello. How are you? How are you doing? Getting back on your feet. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I feel better. That's great, that's great. So glad to hear it. And welcome thank to the you, class. Teacher. Oh, thank you, you thank for you, doing teacher. your effort being here. I know it's hard for you. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm a little tired. Oh, really? A hard day at oh, work? Yes. Oh, yes. A lot of work. <laughs> but the good thing is that you're here in the class. Yeah, yes, the good thing here. is the wheat, the wheat, uh, the, uh, a different, the last wheat, and this wheat is uh, a lot of work. Yeah, but that's always good. Oh, well, yes, for me, it's good. Yeah, I, and as you have told me, you enjoy your job. And you have told me, you enjoy your job. I don't how feel do the past of time. Ah, okay. I don't feel has the prime. The past of the time. Past. Okay. I don't feel I have the past. <laughs> I don't feel the past of time. Well, that's nice. Yes. Yes. And tomorrow, I, uh, I hope uh, I had a lot of work. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Well, yeah, but that's... Oh, really? You have some pendings for tomorrow? Ah, uh, yes. You have some pendings, yes. You have some pendings. Well, and... That's normal, my friend. Ah, uh, yes, that's normal. It's normal. And the it's important normal, thing yeah. is that you finish today, tomorrow's gonna be another day and, and we gotta try to do our best in order to fulfill all the responsibilities, right? Oh, yes, it's the responsibility. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome to the class, my friend. Nice welcome having you teacher. here. Thank you. Thanks to you, thanks to you. Let's see, who else? Jose Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. I'm driving now. Okay, we'll talk later. Man, your vacations ain't okay. no vacations. You're always busy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your vacations look like my vacations. Welcome. We'll yep. talk later. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. No problem. Drive safe. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maria Alejandra. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Maria Alejandra. How are you? I feel tired. <laughs> oh, Maria you know, I get here like pretty excited for being in the class and you go like, good evening. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, but today um, is my mother's birthday. Oh, really? Your mama's birthday? That's cool. Uh -huh. And I did a lot of errands in the at noon because um, I, buy, I bought uh, food and I some bought food. A I bought some food. I bought some food and I bought a cake. And I think that I did a lot of uh, vueltas, I don't know. I run many errands. Uh, I, run I, ran, many, I ran. I ran many errands. At noon, uh, the hot is terrible. And oh, yeah. I, the heat. <laughs> uh, the heat. And, but it's good. I eat a lot of, I eat cake. <laughs> 
I eat cake and then in, in the night I return to my mother's house because I stay in the apartment and all the time. Okay, and tell me, how old is she now? 51, 51. Oh, she's young. <laughs> yes, <laughs> compared with my father, is more younger, my mom. Is younger. He's younger. Mm -hmm. Come on, Maria Alejandra, compared to me, that's why I, I'm telling you she's young, because I am very <laughs> close to that. So she's young, okay, let's leave it like that. <laughs> okay, dear, but my mother is young. <laughs> Okay, great, great. Welcome <laughs> to the class, Maria Alejandra. Nice having you here. Okay, teacher, you're welcome. Let's see. Hey, Erwin. How's it going, my friend? Erwin, you're around. Up snow. Okay, Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are Very you fine. and where are you? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm at Chalatenango right now. Man, I'm so yeah. sorry to say it in these <laughs> words, but right now you are not one of my favorite people, man. <laughs> why why here is pretty hot what about there yeah, i heard about it oh you just heard about it oh. <laughs> how yeah. is it over there tell me actually it's not too cold than the last week but it's fresh but, uh, but it's, it's fresh yeah yeah it's fresh i mean i prefer to be here that that <laughs> in San yeah, than here with us yeah i know i know what yeah. you mean yeah that's why i told you you are you are not one of my favorite people right now <laughs> okay okay well that's, that's nice fun. that's nice and when are you coming back uh till friday at at noon i guess friday at noon you come back to San yeah. Salvador. Oh. yes i mean i will arrive about 7 or 8 p.m. I, I think because I, I I don't know how to say saldria I will get okay. out I will get oh, out I will leave no I will leave yeah, okay okay I will leave about 4 or, or 5 p.m. so Maybe I will arrive at seven or eight, but it's it's good. I mean, it has been a very productive day. That's nice. I mean, it's yes. always good whenever you tell me it's been a productive day. That means that everything's going okay with the job, right? Yes, yes, of course. Excellent, excellent. Well, Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let me, before we move on, let me get the attendance, please. Let's see. Uh -huh. I'm just going to get this ready. I need to get rid of this. I got so many things open. So, See, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez, uh, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez, present teacher, Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia, Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Present teacher. Eduardo. Thank you, Erwin. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Thank you, Francisco. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. 
José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Thank you, Stephanie. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Oh, nice. I can hear you, Susana. Cool. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Great. Well so. <laughs> Bill and Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Marcela Noemí Monterrosa, Matres Monterrosa. Present. And Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay. So, perfect. Well, let's continue. Today we're going to make it short. Let's see. I just have time for a couple of you. Where's Roxana? Hello, Roxana. How are you? Thank you Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everything? So far, so good, teacher. My day, yeah. it was very busy at work. You know, I need to check a lot of things now. Oh, yeah. Your work, right? Yes. Well, you said so. But, sorry? You said that you work. You say so. We try to yeah. believe you, you know? Yeah. I say that. Yeah, it's complex now because I need to check a lot of emails and report some cases. And maybe... Uh, this week, I uh, I will uh, um, prepare my closing because uh, the next week I need to do it. And uh, tomorrow, for example, I need to check a lot of report and something like that. It's, this week for me is complex. Well, but you know. You got a job. That's that's yeah. something good. And the good thing is this: you are working from home. You are not spending on gas. Man, gas is expensive yeah. right now. Yeah, the last time I well, well, when when I come back to my vacation, I to yeah, let me thank. I feel I feel my yeah my tank. My, my tank, tank. my gas tank, and I remember that my gas tank it was and a half, but I need to spend thirty, yeah, th around thirty dollars, and I remember that when I was in a well, when the pandemic, when the pandemic estaba was. When, when pandemic the pandemic was, when the pandemic was, uh, I fill my tank with very five dollars, and today, well, well, uh, in this Monday, I guess I fill, and I spend a lot of money because uh, I have, I I had a half. Yo tenía la mitad. Yeah. And I spend very. So if I need to fill all my tank, maybe I spend around 45. Well, I 
I think tomorrow we will now. So uh, perhaps you will need more. Yes. It's gonna be interesting. You should get a motorcycle. No, <laughs> I prefer take a bus. Okay, cool, cool. Good, Zana, welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Nicholas, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Well, evening, for, well uh, my day is, is very, very tired. Uh, today, um, uh, we train different leaders in the, in the community, Waimango specifically, in Huachapan. Uh, the, the training is, is about establishment of micro micro water meters and is a good it's a good day in this for this action uh, is necessary to prepare up the leader the leaders in this topic uh, because uh, <clears throat> next uh, next uh, day uh, they are uh, Introduce uh, introducing um, uh, 1700, 1700 uh, micro water meters in the community. Okay, well, and uh, it is is very interesting this activity. I my my. Uh, my first activities in, in, in my job are uh, no 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 are uh, vinculated vinculadas yes okay vinculated for uh, intro uh, establishment micro water meter uh, uh, but my co-worker uh, Rodolfo Pacheco is a specialist in this topic Okay, well, interesting. Okay, thank so you. So you have had a very interesting day. Welcome, Nicolas. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, 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 Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Just really? in my house, That's trying, nice. yeah, <laughs> trying to relax in my house here in the class. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So glad to hear it. It's always nice when you tell me that you are relaxing, yeah, because nowadays yeah. we stress a uh, lot. Yeah, but I have to cook because I haven't eat my dinner. <laughs> oh, well, well, yeah, what did you cook? I think I, I will cook some beans and okay. I think I, I have an avocado too. So oh, I, I will nice. eat with that. Okay, yeah. Something simple. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Let's be practical. I mean, uh, I mean, we don't need uh, gourmet every day nor junk food every day. I mean, that's Salvadorian typical food, no? Yeah, <laughs> and it's delicious. Yeah, that's cool. Well, that's really, so glad to hear it. I love that. I love that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I well, love. Uh, I I can eat uh, beans every day, every time. I mean. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Because of my stomach, like, <laughs> man. Avocado. I like it. I like it. You know, I love guacamole. I just love. Oh, it. it's delicious. Yeah. I just love it. It's but delicious. But I love it with a lot of onions, you know? Oh, ew, no. <laughs> Come on. You gotta, no. Put, you gotta put a lot of onion and then you gotta put a lot of, of hot sauce, man. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Without onion. Uh, just uh, a little bit onion. <laughs> no. For no, me. 
That's fine. That's fine. Hey, Rebecca, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you. And let's see, Fernando, how is it going, my friend? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine, teacher. A, a little tired. Just fine. Really? Long day? Yeah. Long day, as usual. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's almost Friday. We are almost we Friday. already past the yeah. middle of the week. We already yeah. passed the middle of the week. Just yeah. two more days. Yeah, I survived the middle of the week. <laughs> I survived other other month because this month uh, will die this week. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I I started a closing uh, tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's true. So you start the good days, right? Right, the good day. But uh, it's the usual, all the month. Well, you know. Yeah. And you teacher? Me, well, oh. you know, here, here, same old, same old. <laughs> Almost the, the, the end of this month is more work for you. Hmm. Not really, actually. Uh, less have work. Less work. Yeah. No, but the, do you have to send uh, the the result, the score, or the thing is this? You know, I have to hurry and get everything from this course, from this course, wrap up for Monday midnight. That's my deadline. Ah, okay. Okay. That's and why I, I, I am. That's why I started since last week reminding you guys the job in the platform, the job in the platform, because my deadline it's uh, Monday midnight, because Monday Tuesday midnight. Tuesday around eight thirty a.m. they start calling me if there's something missing. Okay. This module and Monday. Will, will Monday. Okay. Uh, yeah, the situation I, is this that uh, in order to present all the reports to to in support, we need to fill in a lot of information. The, the guys from the office, so they need everything on my side finished from Monday midnight, so they can start working and processing all the information, like uh, you know the the like the encuesta de satisfacción. That's okay. a big process. Oh. That's a big process because they even need to get a code per each one. And it's a for checks one by one. Oh. Yeah, I can so imagine. it's it's tedious. It's a little bit tedious for us. That's why we need to hurry up. And well, in my case, I need a part of my side is to get all the tendons, all the all the grades and all the videos must be uploaded and also i need to fill uh, some info per student and i need to do it twice uh, right at the middle of the course right at the end of the course so i mean monday is gonna be very interesting for me okay. but usually you will rest at this time oh it's gonna good. be it's the gonna class. be weird. It's gonna be weird for me because Tuesday I got uh, I got classes at the university, but the problem is this: I get used to this schedule. So if they make me have dinner like around eight, nine, I'm like I'm not starving now. I'm not hungry. Okay. What time do you um, do you eat the dinner? Usually around 10 30, quarter to 11. Oh, after, after the, the class. class. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, after yeah. the class. At, at midnight dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's just that I never have time before the class. Yeah, I'm telling you. I rarely well, get enough time. Yeah, but you know, you get used to it. That's part of my regular schedule. Uh, okay. And the break teacher will be long for us. 
supposedly no. No, one week. Well, you already <laughs> sent the info? Uh, no. Have they asked you for the info yet? Ya les pidieron información? Yeah, the, the information. Yes, but two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, that means that they ask you for that because they try to process everything and they are just waiting for you guys to approve this motion in order to, to register the next group. Wow, oh, okay. So they, they run with that and that's why we need to process that fast, that info fast in order to register the next level for you and that wait is not that long. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, the, the goal is for us to stop uh, what, like from seven to 10 days tops. Oh, okay. But it's a lot of paperwork. So yeah. we'll see, we'll see, let's hope, let's hope it is short. Yeah. Let's hope. <laughs> but we will, we, we will have a couple of, of days to rest. Yeah, yeah, you will have some days of, that's cool, you know? Because when uh, when I was teaching the 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 face to face courses like the at uh, the, uh, the an academy and mm -hmm. it was weekends and oh. it was on weekends and we never stopped. Oh. I mean yeah. we finished like we used to finish levels uh, modules on Sundays. Next Saturday you were in class already. Next level. Oh, but it's because during every, the week every week to process weekend. that, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it every was week, like ten, every day. No, no, it was every weekend, but ten hours between Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Ten hours, so. five per day. It was hard. <laughs> beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. Believe me, but it was cool. It was cool. I mean, it was fun. Just that uh a different uh methodology well the methodology is the same a different approach to the methodology yeah, yeah. i i saw and so when, when do you study how much time do you study english i'm sorry for, for improve for improve your english how much time do you invest and on, I don't know, the class or to view the classes or, or reading. Oh, oh man, it's an everyday process. Whenever I got the chance, uh, I mean, I listen to a lot of music in English. If I, if I get into YouTube as an example, I watch uh, uh, programs or stand up comedy or, or uh, some portions of TV programs in English, American guys, British guys, and I always read in English. I don't and know if <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for me it's every day as much as possible. Because, you know, guys, it's just a matter that whenever I'm talking with you, if you notice sometimes there is some vocabulary that I, I need to look up in my mind because I don't use it regularly. So I need to get in touch, otherwise you lose it. I mean, oh. it's it's an, a skill. If you don't use it, you lose it, as simple as that. People tell yes. you, no, you never forget it. Uh, that's not completely true. When we are talking about languages, you forget uh, where it is on your mind. And so you need to be like on top of it all the time. Okay, interesting. Oh, thank you. Nice okay. having you here, Fernando. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, guys. Well, welcome all of you. Welcome, uh, Alfredo Guardado, Erwin, Susana, uh, Daniel, Shanira. Let's see. Well, everybody's here, almost everybody. Welcome all of you, Stephanie. Nice having you here, guys. Today I will cut short these conversations because we need to cover some aspects from the manual. And let me see, got it ready? Yeah, got it. Okay. The first activity we are going to be like uh, 
in getting vocabulary. And let me share with you so you can at least check it out before I send you to working groups. This is gonna be fast because we're gonna run a little bit with this because it's just vocabulary. Building vocabulary, match the words related to inventory to their meaning. We are in the manual in page number 34. We are stock, inventory tracking, point of sale, restock, spoilage, power levels, first in, first, in, first out, and we got here the, the explanation, a software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Items with expiration dates, like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten or unassable if not sold in time. The oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. Merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. The amount that should be available at any time for an item, when an item falls below par, it is replenished. Okay, we are going to discuss this. I know there are some questions about the vocabulary, but we are going to check them out a little bit later. Don't worry, we will. Let me, first of all, get you in the groups so we can start working on this. Okay, guys, she's gonna be working in pairs. Just let me do a little something here. Uh -huh. Let me check how the groups are coming along. Oops, well, jump in, guys. I'm gonna fix it on the road. Okay, let's check out the groups. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to make any adjustment. Oh yeah. Well, let's go check on them groups. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Yeah. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. I'm, I'm not sure. If you want, continue with the next one. Yes. Okay, items with expiration dates. 
like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten, rotting, or unusual, 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 no sé cómo se dice, if not so in time. For me is spolish. What does it mean as spolish? Unusual. 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 What does it mean as spoilage, teacher? A uh, damage. Damage. Yeah. I don't with expiration dates like food or, or even cosmetics that can become routine or unusual. It's not sold. Maybe it could be spoilage. Spoilage. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one, the oldest inventory item are recorded as sold first. First in, first out. That no, number six, FIFO, FIFO, LIFO. FIFO, number seven. The oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. Yeah, this is first and this is FIFO metal. Are you yes. okay? Yes. The next one, merchandise kept in the warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Maybe a stock? Which one? Yes, yeah, stock. Okay. So, stock is merchandise kept in a warehouse, warehouse and available for sale distribution or distribution. Okay. Thank you, teacher. And the uh, last one, the amount that should be available at any time for an item, and for an item, when an item falls below per, it's replenishing. I think it's per levels. Yeah, per levels, per levels. Do you know what is per levels? Niveles, but per levels, no, teacher. Okay, per level, the minimum amount of inventory needed uh, to meet the demand from the customers. That's per ah, level. okay, the amount that should be available at any the time. Minimum. Ah, okay, the minimum. Uh huh. When I item falls below, okay, okay, thank you. And we have the time and place where a retail transaction is completed. No. Point of sale. What 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 number do you think? Number three. Point, point ah point of sale. POC. The time Which and one is that? place where a retail transaction. The time, the time and place where a retail transaction is completed? Oh, yeah. Point of sale. What does it mean, point of sale, Tisha? Okay, let's see. The and time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Okay. How can I explain it? For you. And you make me remember when I was studying marketing. <laughs> it's, I understand it's, it's where the, yeah, but in these cases, uh, where you calculate the amount owed by the customer, okay, exactly that. Point of sale, point of event. It's the place where you execute the payment. Ah, point of sale. Ah, yeah, POD, the, the post. Maybe point yeah. of sale. Yeah, it's like post. a post. Uh -huh, the post, That's, yeah. No, it's not That's like nice. a post. No. Post means pain point of sale. Pain of sale. Point. Post, uh -huh. post stands for point of sale. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello. Hello.
No. No. Roxana left us. She doesn't want to be with us, you know. I'm here. And Rosanna goes like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so you finish? Yes. Let's go to the main room. Okay. Okay, let's do it, guys. This was piece of cake, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Before, before, before we move on, let me just uh, explain to you par levels. Par levels, uh, the minimum amount of inventory needed to 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 fulfill, to meet the demands of products from your customers, okay? That's par level. So you can get the, the, the term clear. Now let's see. Let's do the exercise. Okay, let's see. Number one, Ana Claudia, stock. Tell me what is stock. Teacher, I'm so sorry, but I got disconnect and then get into a breakout room. They were ending, ending. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. No problem. No problem. Ana Claudia, I got you. Don't worry. Thank you. Teacher, I'm sorry. Let's see. I, yeah? I, I, I think is in number two. I think. Uh -huh. Talk. Let's see, let's see. Fernando, what you got for stock? Sorry, teacher. Stock. Oh, stock. I have a uh, merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Available. 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 Yes. Merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Erwin, you got inventory tracking. Let me see. Inventory tracking a software system used to keep, uh, to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and delivers. That's quite right. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Marta, you got number three, point of sale, POS, POS. Okay. Uh, POS. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Okay, perfect. Completed, completed. Completed. Perfect. Rebecca, number four, restock. Restock. 
Rebecca. Okay, well, perhaps connection. Let's see, Roxana, number four. Okay, let me see. Number four is replenish a store with with fresh stock or supplies. Perfect. Hold on. Nuria, number five, spoilers, spoilers. Number five, spoilers. Well, teacher, I forgot. Spoilage is not that. that. Items with expiration dates. Items okay. with expiration dates, like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten or unusable if not sold, if not sold in time. Okay, unusable, perfect. That's points. Number six, par levels. Walter. Number six. And par levels. The oldest inventory is eaten up. Recording ah. is a sole fish. Okay, Walter, try it again, please. Excuse me? The amount. Okay. The amount that should be invited at any time for an error with an error and falls below in part, it is a replenishing. Okay, item, item. Item. Yeah, that's number six. And let's see who's gonna help me here. Mr. Osorio, would you mind reading number uh, 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 seven, first in, first out, please, if you are so kind. Okay, teacher. Uh, my opinion, number seven is the all the oldest inventory items are recorded. Excuse me, teacher. First out, first out. Yeah, yeah, you were right. The oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Well, I need to take the second attendance. Finally, on time. Let me just get my list ready. And here we go. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Parlera. Present, teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. I haven't mentioned you, right? Yes, you forgot me. Yeah. Well, I'm so sorry. It's just that, uh, you know, after a time, all the, the little squares here blink from my eyes. 
Bellman, Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Rosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay, guys, now I need to make this uh, in Spanish and I need to remind everybody. So bear with me just for a few seconds. El recordatorio nada más que les va a estar llegando el correo con la, de la encuesta de satisfacción en uno de estos días. Eh, les recuerdo solamente de que eso lo vamos a llenar juntos el último día de clases, que para nosotros es el próximo lunes. Eh, también les recuerdo que los minutos son muy importantes. Tengo algunos acá que no me pueden faltar, pero ni un minuto para llegar a, a los minutos necesarios para que usted pueda aprobar. Recuérdese que son tres aspectos para que usted pueda aprobar el curso. El primero es la, el trabajo en la plataforma, la asistencia, 80% asistencia y la encuesta de satisfacción. Entonces, por favor, estemos atentos a ello. El trabajo en la plataforma es muy importante. Tratemos de avanzarle porque vemos algunos que se han un poquito atrasados. Bueno, esas eran las, los anuncios, ¿verdad? Let's continue. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me just a second, but I need to get this ready for you. Okay. Here we go. Page number 35, uh, still talking about inventory, okay? And we're gonna go straight to the conversation. Susan and George are talking about the basics on how to keep an organized inventory system, read the conversation and take turns practicing it. I am having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record, and I'm sorry, and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. I repeat, guys. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently, sure. I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, guys. Let me check for me something. Groups created. Please jump into the rooms. Into the rooms. Let's practice.
inconsistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now, now you know, um, look here. The labels are falling of the package. The labeling inventory properly to ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot. Accurately. So, accurately. Accurately. Sorry. Accurately. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Teacher. Yes. Labels. It's the pronunciation. Labels. Yeah, labels. Okay, thank you. Uh, now you are yours. Yeah. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes and on any scrap of paper, Jorish. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consist consistently. Sure, I can do that. I did really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are failing of the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately Accurate, accurately, 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 it's difficult, <laughs> accurately in the right spots is so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay. okay listen, um, listen, listen, to... listen, 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 Accurately, accurately. Accu Accurately. 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 Accu accurately. Accurately. Okay. Like that, teacher? Yep. Accurately. Okay. Mm, now, I'm George. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement, implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this is a spreadsheet and record not their consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling following on the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees accurately look look at my hands accurately 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 with that accurately accurate it's like accurately 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 no, it's not that difficult. The problem is that uh, in your mind, in your mind, is playing the pronunciation of the words in Spanish. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are thinking in Spanish. Accurately, accurately, accurately. accurately. Yeah, in Spanish, the in logical right. will be that the accent. The stress will be in the second syllable. Yeah. Greatly. But 
in this case in English, Accurately. it goes in the Accurately. first one. Accurately. Yeah. Because Accurately. the sound of that C, the sound of that C, in this case in English, is actually like a K. Accurately. Accurately. Yeah. Le voy a poner aquí. Accurately. Accurately. Thank you. Look, this is, the, this is the thing. Look. Accurately. Accurately. You see? Yeah. So you see the stress goes in the first, in the first one. Accurately. Accurately. In the accurate, 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 perfect. Okay, Francisco, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you and where are you? Working or at home? Um, uh, working, teacher, work. <laughs> but are you able to participate on the pronunciation? Yes, teacher. In this moment, yes, I can. Okay, so you're going to be first. Okay, teacher. Let's see, who was your partner? Francisco, Francisco, where are you, where are you? Oh, it was Walter, perfect. This is your uh, USR. Francisco and Walter, let me see, is Walter here? Yeah. Francisco and Walter are going to start, and Walter, you start. Okay, teacher. I have read about my own business business. Susan, I need some advice about the inventory and management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement and organize inventory management system is getting out of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record not their consistency. Sure, I can do that. I didn't write it in much and attention and to my knowledge. Now, you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the package by leveling inventory properly. You ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Anna Claudia and Fernando. Anna Claudia, you start. Okay. Uh, let me just open it again. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement and organize inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And Look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Stephanie? I'm here, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Stephanie, perfect, perfect. Stephanie and Nicolas. Nicolas, you'll start. 
Okay, sure. Just let me take I'm the picture again. <laughs> I am having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about the inventory manner. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Josh. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet <laughs> and record notes their consistency. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the levels are falling off the package by leveling inventory properly. You ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, Stephanie, and record, record, and record notes. Okay. Record, record. Notes. Perfect, thank you. Now, let's see, I'm sorry, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I got, uh, oopsie, they see. Okay, Frank and Wilfredo Guardado. Frank, you start. Okay, let me, one second, please. Okay, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on my scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement and organize inventory management system is getting all of your products and vendor, vendors information in one place. I recommend you do this on a spreadsheet and record not here consequently. Consistently. Sure. Consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And look there, the, lay, the labels are falling off the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately and the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Erwin and Mr. Osorio, Jose, you start, please. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep your uh, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. <clears throat> the first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your products and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes and there cons consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And look here. The labels are falling off all packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurate, accurate, accurately, accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. 
Okay, perfect. Accurately, accurately. Okay. The stress goes in the act, act, accurately. Thank you guys. And Nuria and Roxana. Okay, Nuria, you start, please. Okay, teacher. I'm having a bad time with my business. With my business, Nusan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes, sorry. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. Your first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you, I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now, you know, and look here, the labels are falling, falling off the packages. By leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets served accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, perfect. Rosanna. In the first part that you were talking, you say, okay, I see you keep notes. And you said it like this. Okay, I see you keep notes. The intonation changed the meaning. Notice now, okay, I see you keep notes. Got it? Okay, I see you keep notes, yeah. Like that. Because in the other way, the way you said it, I see you in that mm -hmm. way. Uh, the stress is on the action that I am seeing you. And the idea of the sentence is that the person is keeping notes on any scrap of paper, okay? Okay, thank you. Now let's see Maria Alejandra and Rebecca. Yes. Okay. Maria Alejandra, you'll start. <laughs> okay. I'm having a bad time with my business. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes <clears throat> on any scrap of paper, George. <clears throat> the first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend that you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really, I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the levels are falling off the package by leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your pros get started accurately and they're in the right in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Labels. Labels. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rebecca. Now Marcela Noemi and Marta. Marta, you'll start. Okay, uh, I am having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately, accurately in the right spots 
so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, you and Susana. Susana, you will start. Okay, I'm having a bad time with my business. Susan, I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep no notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of, or all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my note. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that the products get stored accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, guys. Perfect. Let's see. Yep, that's it. Now, 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 let's see, guys. We got us something else. Give me just a second. Okay. Now, I got a question for you. Actually, we discussed a little bit about this question and if I'm not mistaken in the previous level, but we are gonna talk a little bit more about it. Is a university degree needed for business success? What do you think guys? In order to be successful and for business, do I need a degree, a university degree? Discuss a little bit and tell me about what you discussed, what were your opinions? I know that not all of us perhaps are going to, to think alike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I sent the invitation. Sorry guys, I need to recreate something. Give me a second. Okay. Please jump in. different things like uh, finals or futures uh, or something like that. So for me, it's necessary to get a degree. And if you are not the boss, the principal boss, uh, the, main or boss. the main boss, or if you don't, uh, sorry, or if you are uh, include in a team, maybe you need to looking for another person that has uh, experience or get a degree. Yeah. Well, for me, I'm agree with you. I, I think that, yes, 
it's kind of necessary to to have some knowledge about the business that you want to improve. Um, some technical knowledge, right? And obviously the financial knowledge to, to know how to uh, management a business and how to, to manage, make it how grow, to manage. manage, how to manage the business and how to make it grow. Uh, it's important to, to have that kind of technical knowledge about finances and all, all the things about it. So, I mean, we know that are some people that uh, make success with her with their business without without a lot of professional education or without without a degree. But I think that it's not the the. Uh, it's not a fact, right? I mean, uh, maybe those kind of people. I think that depends on the place that we are talking about. Because, for example, in Erwin, yes, yes, it was Erwin, I think, that talked about that, that he was talking about a company. For example, when the employer needs employees for any kind of job. And that kind of job, for example, be uh, management, inventory, to be, they need this kind of the skills. But in the case that you are talking about, for example, when you start your own business, and uh, maybe it's not necessary to have a degree for example if there is something that you can do for example make some i don't know something with the wood kind of and a table and stuff like that but it's gonna be totally different if you for example want to do something like graphic design you know so maybe it depends at the Maybe it depends the one kind of business we are talking about. I don't know what do you think about. What do you think, Francisco? We think that she makes a good case for herself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he is the, the the owner of Yamaha, for example, and other 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 companies. Um, well, I I think it's very important to uh, prepare the the conduct or can I study and and maybe we can do our best at the university, but. Uh, sometimes it's not that you have a uh, the big opportunity you will uh, finish the uh, get the degree and you will have the the success is not only about that uh, mm -hmm. i i told to mm -hmm. i who is my partner i told to nuria that maybe uh, what well, i consider success is not only a a career a degree can give us money but mm -hmm. and maybe we we are going to be a, I don't know how to say como um satisfechos or 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 proud pride of us but we have family we have a, in my case I have a church and in those areas I think I can get this success too. It's not only about my university degree, but it's yeah. important. Mm -hmm. It's important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you can be self uh, autodidacta. How do you say autodidacta? Self learner. Could it be. Mm -hmm. yep. Be self learner, huh? And learn a lot and, and be successful 
uh, I know of the, the case like this from uh, 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 one co-worker. I, I was working with him and who is uh, successful in, in his business and he left the job uh, he had and he's doing very, very well. And, and he don't have a, a university degree. He doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, Thank you, yeah. yeah, I understand you. You, mm -hmm. make, you make a good case of it. But remember also that uh, actually the question is pretty open because uh, what we will first need to define is the type of business. Because depending on the type of business, yes. I mean, a certain type of business it's okay i mean you don't need that much in order to start but what about if you want to expand and what some uh -huh. people do you know is that uh they surround with people who who are savvy on a specific area so they can help them i mean mm -hmm. when you start you can start without having a, a career a degree but perhaps with the pass of time and if your business is successful and start increasing, you will start needing people to help you. And that's when you need people who already got the knowledge. And, uh -huh. and I mean, if your business uh, going up fast, first an accountant, mandatory. Yes, uh, we talk about uh, it's very important knowing how to interpret metrics and financial statements and to interpret uh, market trends and it's a good part of the success. Success. Yeah. You know something? The success. Uh, Thank you. Like a month ago, I, I started, uh, how, do you, how do you say emprendimiento teacher? Entrepreneurship. Entrepre okay. entrepreneurship. entrepreneurship and I started uh, by the first time I told to a friend hey help me with the marketing because I didn't know anything about Instagram how, how to use uh, those things and I thought um, I, I, I had some classes uh, on, my, on the college about contabilidad contabilidad Contability? Yeah, I got accountancy. accountancy. And I thought that I was I was going to be able to do this in, in, in a good way. But uh, two weeks be uh, after two weeks uh, before after the marketing, we were selling and sending products to other departments. And I was like, oh my god, I, I got confused. And I was spending a lot of time uh, trying to to uh, co concentrarme uh, in order focus. to to, to uh, yes I was trying to focus about how to handle the 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 the, the, the business and it's hard yes. I, I think in imagine it was a little business. <laughs> And in a bill, yes, it is, is in every day. Oh my God, it's really difficult. Yeah, yeah, as I told you, even if you don't study, you need people who got the knowledge in the area. So, I mean, you surround with people with that knowledge. And I mean, there's people who are successful, but uh, depending on the, on the company you get, on the business you got, and how big you want it to be? As simple as that. Okay, guys, let's go back to the main room. Let's discuss there. Okay, thank you, teacher.
Okay, let's just wait for everybody to come back. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's still in the limbo? Still missing one? No, that's it, that's it, that's it. Erwin, hello Erwin. Hello teacher. Okay Erwin, you've been too quiet tonight. So tell me, is a university degree needed for business success? Uh, what, what maybe you not. Okay. Well, uh, we, we have, have different opinions. We have different opinions about the the team, but uh, we are agree with the. It's not always that the uh, university degree gives you the success. The or well, uh, according to the definition of success is a, mm -hmm. a kind of uh, things that you you do in order to be happy. Uh, so uh, if you are talking about economic success, it's, uh, it's easier if you have a university degree, but it's not impossible if you don't have it. Okay. What do I need to do if I don't have it? Um, require more effort okay. to, to find success. To achieve. Exactly. Okay, interesting. Nuria, tell me, what's your opinion? I think teacher that it depends on the case because uh, I was thinking in Steve Joe, for example, he didn't go to the university, even he was a success man. Um, but sometimes uh, in, in some business, uh, maybe the people don't need to get a master degree or, or a university degree because uh, maybe he are very smart or, may, or maybe he, the people are uh, self learners. They can learn, there are, a lot of, there, there are a lot of people that have business and they haven't gone to the university. But when, as you told us, and when they have the, the Enterprise, la empresa, the enterprise, they, they need uh, technical help. They need uh, maybe a man or, or a woman that has um, maybe degree university. A university degree. Um, a university degree. Okay, well, okay, well. Interesting, interesting. Now, guys. Well, talking and still talking about university. Thank you very much. I know that you did a good job, all of you. Is studying abroad beneficial for a student host country or home country? Tell me. The host country is where you go. The home country is where you live. Okay. Is studying abroad beneficial for which country? What do you think? Is it good for where I'm going to go to study or is it good from where I'm originally from? Let's discuss it, okay? I have recreated the groups and please let's jump in and we will have just four minutes for this so we can hear some opinions. Alfredo, let me see what am I gonna send you in a second. I know what I'm gonna send you, there you go.
or maybe it's like when you are uh, um, okay you get a scholarship in england tell me uh -huh. is it good for england your host country for you to go study there or is beneficial for your for, home country um maybe it depends teacher because if you think like the those countries need uh, some young people to live and provide okay, you got the idea you got the idea sorry some people is calling me from another group i'm sorry okay you got it country to study uh, do you understand the question please? Um, more or less teacher okay imagine erwin is going to study to canada tell me is it beneficial for the host country canada or is it beneficial for the home country el salvador ah, okay is that the thing depend the career is you got the question you understood it yeah yes uh, well i think so. <laughs> okay fernando's going to study to 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 england tell me is it beneficial for the host country oh, yeah? oh. or is it beneficial for please. the home country so no, it's, it's safe, it's beneficial safe. for for salvador because, <laughs> because, because i'm coming back you say <laughs> yeah yeah because participants for okay. a job, you I don't question, think. Guys? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, like a estudiante de intercambio. It's like if you go, imagine you get a scholarship to to study in England, Jose. Tell me, is it going to be beneficial uh -huh. for the host country for England, or is it going to be beneficial for the home country, El Salvador? Mm, I think for the home country. Okay, perfect. Discuss about it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Did yeah. you get the question, guys? Mm. Sorry, of teacher. Course. Teacher, of course. Did you understand it? Yeah, perfect. It is very difficult. It's very difficult because uh, I understand the first, the first part is studying abroad beneficial for a student, for a student only. Okay, I, Nicolas. Imagine that you go to study to the United States. You got a scholarship. Tell me, is it going to be beneficial for the United States that you study there or for the home country, El Salvador? For which country is better? A que país le beneficia el que usted vaya a estudiar en el extranjero? The host, el país al que va? Or the home country, the que usted es su país de origen. Are to to be in that for me, I think it'd be a, a good a, a good um. A good opportunity. Yeah, a good opportunity. Hey guys, did you get the question? Did you understand the question? I hope we so. we say that that we are talking about is is beneficial in yes. for example if i'm the if i am in salvador and i go to the united states if it's be, if it's beneficial to for example to el salvador if i go to the united states is like that our home yeah, country exactly your host okay. country is the country where you go your home country is where you where you are from okay so if you go to study to the United States, is beneficial for the United States or for El Salvador? Um, right now, I think maybe could be. Okay. Oh. For me, you say. <laughs> it, it depends. <laughs> if an American comes to El Salvador, maybe it wouldn't be it beneficial would be for the American. <laughs> well, if they come to study medicine, yes. Our medicine okay. program, our medicine program, you know, is uh, more extensive than theirs. But I think if I you, want, if you want to become a med, uh, doctor, 
it takes longer here than there. The specializations are better there than here. But, well, if you want to go to study medicine, depending on the career, because I mean, uh, there's some careers like uh, if you go to Costa Rica, there are some good careers that perhaps in some other countries you cannot study. But in that case, teacher, I have a question. If yeah, the yeah. medicine career is better, in, is better in El Salvador than the United States, and if you want to well, study in the United, United States, it's very expensive. Why don't, why don't Americans come to El Salvador to study okay, medicine? Okay, or... listen, listen, because we are talking about a uh, specialization, we are talking about equipment. Remember that it's not the, the knowledge, it's also the equipment, the facilities. And of uh -huh. course, we cannot compete. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of factors. I mean, uh, the, it is a fact that Cuban medicine program is one of the best in the world. Yeah, the Cuban and program, that's a yeah, fact. I heard that. And that's a fact. And I ask you the same. Why don't Americans go to study to Cuba? Oh, that's a political situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a whole different story. And I mean, it depends on, it's like if you go, I mean, how many students go from here in, uh, I was, I was working at one of the EB's, IB schools from El Salvador. I was working there. And believe me, like from my students, the ones who went to study abroad, uh, the majority of them were to Germany, oh. uh, Spain. I mean, out of per year, out of, out of, 20 students that were to study abroad, two or three went to the States, the rest, Europe. Yeah, but they may, maybe teacher because in Europe, in Spain, in France, in Italy, the education is free for the, for the people. I, I, well, I, to be honest with you, uh, most of them went with, uh, I had I had two that went to one to who went to Harvard, another one went for jail. Wow. I'm, I'm I would like kind, to I'm talking about that road. kind of money. Nuri, I'm talking about that kind of money. Uh -huh. So okay. they they have the means. They have the means to pay. Yeah, they have they have a lot of money because if you want to study at Harvard, wow, well, you have to be a millionaire, maybe. You have to pay a lot of money. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. I, I mean, I was I was working with kids that I mean they came from money, and uh, mm -hmm. I mean one of them study got accepted in Harvard, and actually he asked for permission because staying there he got another scholarship for he went to study at Russia for two years. So wow. I mean, yeah, they. They could have paid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, it's different if you go like to Argentina. Argentina is, I mean, they are open to everybody. Uh -huh. Yeah, Argentina like a Chile. I have heard that Chile has one of the best is education system. But it's well, we, we used expensive. to copy them. I mean, Nuria, when you went to school, when you were doing primary, secondary school, believe me, you were you were studying with the programs that we used to copy from Chilean government. Yeah, I have heard that some laws and some uh, norms are, that we have are copied from them. I have I have heard that too. Yeah. Interesting discussion, right? Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Present. <laughs> That's so cool. You know, I, I feel like Fernando is, is like with the with the pillow under under his head right now, just saying <laughs> present and <laughs> crashing and, down. And, and continue sleeping. No, no, no continue sleeping. You are so tired that you are like ready to jump into the bed. Uh, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I mean uh, Nowadays, I mean, the, the pace of life is 
getting hectic, more hectic and more stressful. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but we got carried away with the discussion with some groups. It was very interesting, quite interesting. And it's cool. I like it when we discuss. You know, discussion is very nice because when we discuss, uh, we put a little bit more about when we are expressing our opinion, believe it or not, you use more vocabulary and you try to use even more in order to be clearer. And that's cool, that's nice. That's why I like this, this type of discussions. But I know that some of you are pretty tired and I really, really appreciate that you bear with me up to this time. Let's see, let me get the final attendance, guys. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Erwin. López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Belman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay, guys. Erwin, give me a second, please. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good night. Enjoy it. Bye bye. Good night, Have everyone. Good night. Bye bye. 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 Good night, buddy. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye guys. Erwin, did they call you up related to that topic we were discussing the other day? No, nobody. So that means that you haven't talked to no one about that situation. Okay. Uh, no, no. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Give me a second. Give me just a second. Did you receive a, a contact that I just sent uh, you? What? I just sent you the, the, the number of somebody. Did you get it? Uh, by WhatsApp or email? By WhatsApp. <laughs> ah, right now. OK. Yeah, yeah. This is the number. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah, the okay. name? Okay, that's, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what am I doing? Hmm, that's so weird. Okay, the name of the person, I'll let you know right now, that's Luis Bonilla. Okay. What do I need to talk with him? I'm just going to explain to I, I need right to explain. Now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm text him in this moment. Just give me a second. Okay. Did you? Ex are you going to explain the situation and 
uh, to ask for a possible solution or? Yeah. But okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him, and I will really appreciate it if you perhaps can call him tomorrow or send in a message uh, after around 10 30 11 because at between eight and nine they got meetings i wonder why i cannot do this mr luis bonilla right So when they asked for the paperwork, you were not working, right? No. I finished your work on mm -hmm. January 10, uh, 31st. So when they sent you the, 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 cuando le pidieron, cuando le enviaron el mensaje de que te, había que enviar toda la documentación, usted ya no la envió. No. Uh, and right now you are you are working at a company. You are in the Seguro Social, right? No, not yet. Uh, we are talking with the, my boss, and she told me that maybe <laughs> in three months because it's a uh, the the how to how they do these kind of things. Okay. All the employees need to wait for three months in order to uh, give the Seguro Social all the things. Already well. I just text him that you're going to get in contact and perhaps you can text him that uh, you're the person I was telling him before, so he can perhaps give you an option. Okay, thank you very much. No, no, always a pleasure, Erwin. Have a good night. Okay, good night, teacher.
Okay, well, that's it for tonight, guys. See you tomorrow.